Yo ho bro and welcome to the tutorial on making chisel bit armor. You might be asking your screen right now, Puka, what the hell are you wearing? To that I will respond, nothing. Well, practically nothing. As you can see down there, I do in fact have a full bar of armor comparable to that with diamond armor. Now is it just invisible? No, as a matter of fact, what you see on my person is in fact all of the chisel bit armor and acts exactly like diamond armor. This stone claw that I have strapped to my arm is in fact diamond armor as well as this little stone guy on my shoulder. This little fluffy thing behind me is in fact part of the diamond armor. The headband, the face paint, that's all of the, di the diamond chisel bit armor, these little foot straps, and this impenetrable loincloth is in fact the armor that I am wearing. I have custom created this armor for myself. And you too can also create your chisel bit armor. Yes, now you can have the armor that has been displayed in thousands of RPGs across the world. The armor that has this huge midriff in the center, but still acts as full plate mail. So, let us get started with our first recipe. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to make and use chisel bit armor. Then after that, I am going to show you some of the cool features that I have found inside of Chiselbit Armor that you can use for yourself. Alright, so let us put down our armor onto this armor stand. I'm really liking the fact that every armor stand actually works with the chisel bits and is easily displayed on one of these guys. So, let us get started. Of course you're going to need some diamond armor, it only works with diamond armor, and hopefully you already know the recipe for diamond armor by now. But quick review, hat, shirt, pants, boots. Okay, got it? Good. Now you need a chisel and a bag. Okay, this is a chisel, that's a bag, with a little piece of chiseled stone in the center. There, you got a bag. So, armor, 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 and bit, bag. There we go. Okay, so the recipe for this is super simple. You take a diamond thingy, you put it in here, okay? You take a chisel doohickey, you put it in there. You got yourself chisel helmet. <gasps> Takes a little bit of durability out of the chisel, but who cares? It's just like one durability or... What is that? Oh, it's 200 durability out of the eight 800,000. So... Make all the chisel bit armor in the world. You got your bits in the bag. All right, cool. There is no bits that actually go into the bag. Don't know why I said that. But I got a bunch of bits already here stuffed in here. But we'll use those for our first display. Let's put that back there. All right, so as you can see in your hand, it comes out to look like this. Let's go ahead and put these guys on and see what we look like. So it looks a little bit different from n other diamond armor. I mean, it looks a little bit more blocky, if you could say that. It looks a little bit more defined, a little bit more thicker as it was put, rather than just a flat texture onto an invisible U. So, let's go ahead and take these off because we're going to have to use those later. While we have it up on the screen, I should say that there is this thing up in the top left corner of your little display. Uh, here it is chiseled armor. This slot is not for your chiseled armor. This one is for the one that is displayed. This one can be seen by everybody. This one can only be seen by yourself. But why you would wear, build something up and just wear it for yourself, cosmetically, I don't know. Might as well make something and share it with your friends. So... Always put your stuff in here and you both get the benefits of the armor as well as displaying it to your friends. So let us put these guys into the bottom and let's put one of these guys down there too. Okay, so F5, okay. Next thing we're going to need is some of this white stuff. What is this white stuff? It is body part template. 
this stuff is going to have to go into your bag. Quick way of doing that, of course. Oh, oh, recipe. I forgot. The recipe for this is that. Literally, it is just a cobblestone and it is body template. This stuff can be broken by hand. It's easy to pick up. And you place it down. You go over to your bit. All material. Pop it into your bag. Now you have a bunch of these little body template things into your bag. You're going to need those later. And let's put that back up there. Okay. So, what can chisel bit armor work with? Well, it can work with all the Minecraft regular blocks, sets as iron block, gold block, stone block, and all that fun and fun stuff. It can work with transparent blocks, such as, you know, glass and uh, other types of glass that are from vanilla. But not only that, but it can work with modded blocks as well, seen by this little chiseled lapis block. And by chiseled, I mean uh, do, 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 this guy right here. This uh, this thing that uh, changes the look of the chisel uh, block. Ooh, ooh. Is there only one thing that I can change it to? Interesting. I did not know that. Anywho, so yes, it can work with all those types of blocks. And not only that, but you can also have displayed on your armor some vanilla liquids from the chisel bit bit tank. And of course, uh, the, the, the bit tank. You you can figure out the recipe. It's not that difficult. Um, so water you can put on the armor, lava you can put onto the armor, and, oh my goodness, uh, I'm, I'm going to save that one for that here. You can melt down metals. Right here I have a bucket of manilium, the, I think, strongest metal in Tinker's Construct. Yes, you can put that onto your armor as well, and if your mod allows it, there's this thing called Liquid XP. And when it spills out on the floor, that means, in fact, you can put it into a bit tank. And yes, you can use chisel bit, liquid bits onto your armor. And it is fantastic. Once I figured out that this mod pack had the ability to bit up some, some liquid XP. Oh, oh, I lost it because I love how this stuff looks. But not only that, you can put items into your little chisel bit armor and that is difficult to say the smallest so we're gonna get to that on our last little bit of how to use chisel bit down the road all right so how do we use the armor well we have the armor that we need we have the body templates that we'll be using. We have the materials that we want to use. And we have some extras that we could possibly use. So how do we do this? Let's use the simplest piece, the helmet. As you can... I do have to say before we start on this, that chisel bit armor and chisel bits are actually two different mods. Chisel Bits is one mod, and Extended Bit Manipulation is another mod that has Chisel Bit, mar ma nah. chisel bit Armor inside of it. So, they are two packs that work together. However, I find it cool that this pack works the same way as Chisel Bit does. As you come to your pick, you might know the fact that you can hold down Alt and you can select different types of bit manipulation down here, such as single bits. I just affect the single bits. Lines, I affect no, lines of bits all the way down or something like that. Uh, undo, undo, undo. Okay. Um, or, you know, I can just select all material and just take out the whole block. Uh, undo. Okay, there we go. So, the cool thing about this is that you come to a piece of chisel bit armor and you hold down Alt and you get all of the options that you have for this piece of armor. So, we're going to go through each of these things. Template creation is what we're going to want to be on right now. This is going to help us figure out how to make how we want to make our armor. We're going to go with a scale one to one. That means what we're going to be looking at is exactly the same size as our own head. Nothing bigger, nothing smaller. Uh, collection grid, we are just going to do the blocks, the whole blocks. We uh, Bits is a bit 
uh, tedious. We're going to get to that. And the moving part is the head. So, easiest thing, we have everywhere we look as we hold the helmet in our hand, we're going to see this weird transparent thing. And there's going to be only one blue side to this block. The blue side is what is facing forward. So, if I were to face forward, this, my face is considered the blue side. So, just keep that in mind when you put this down. Since we have template creation selected, all I need to do is right click. And not only did it put down a uh, template down there with the blue side on it, but it also put down the blocks that I can work with. So when I go to say, uh, I want to put on some, oh, some lovely ex liquid experience. Oh, love this stuff. And I'm just going to put a bunch, oops, no, 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 okay. I want draw region, and I'm going to put uh, two giant eyes on here. Two giant eyes. Lopsided eyes, nonetheless. So, we have two lopsided eyes, and we have our helmet. Let's add on a little bit more, I don't know, some type of Mega Man mohawk thing here. Yeah, put on a Mega Man Mohawk thingy. All right, there we go. All right, so we say it is complete. I like what I have created for my helmet. It is awesome. So now we hit Alt again, or hold down Alt, in order to select our block collection. This block collection will, if we mouse over what we have created, not the block template, as you can see, I'm looking through the block template and it is selecting the block behind it. We want to collect, we want to make sure the cursor is over what we have created. So, I left click on this guy and I have a helmet in my hands. Alright, so, we have the armor headpiece in our hands now. We right click. <gasps> And it's not covering my eyes, but it's on us. Oh my goodness, the chisel bits that we put onto that template have transferred over. Now, the template blocks are not actually necessary. They are there, in fact, to just help you out. But you can use another method. Let us grab this down here, and you can come over here. And we're going to go to template creation and we are going to just left click instead. And our little block stays there. Now, as I look around uh, above, you notice that there's two, there's two little mm, floaty blocks, uh, transparent blocks. The, the one that I'm, that's right in the center of my screen is the one to be placed and the one that is to the right there is the one that is already placed. So you can put other things around that instead of using the templates. Templates are just there to help you out in order to make it. The block collection mode collects everything in that, in that area. So you'll notice down here that there is a smaller box inside of a bigger box. The bigger box is what is being collected, all the bits inside of that, that area. So if we were to say, uh, do this, uh, actually, you know what, line, 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 there we go, and do that. Okay, we have an antenna now on our little robot head. Um, if we, er, template creation, let's put the template back over here, thank you. Um, block collection. All right, so now everything in that block area is going to be collected. Well, again, again. So, uh, F5, right click. I now have an antenna on my head. Oh, for goodness sakes, weather clear. Stupid rain just does not stay away. So, it collects those blocks. But, we don't have to just collect chisel bits. As a matter of fact, no. We can collect uh, other things that are in relation to the template. The template is just there to say that is where my head is at. 
well, what if I want to go to the block to my left? What if I want a little bit of a, a floaty thing to, to the left of my head? Well, you can do that too, but it is a separate block. This block here is the one where your head is at. This block over here is a completely different block, but can still be collected. And it should be, if that blue face, it should be to my right. So, and look at that. I have a floaty thing to the right of my head. And it all works like that. Cool. So, I can literally do anything with this that I, that I want to. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's go a bit crazy here. Let us take this thing and let's not only collect this portion, not only collect this portion, but let's left click this stone brick slab here. Oh, <gasps> that's right. Slabs don't work with chisel bits. Well, that was really weird. Why does it have a clock on it? I have no idea. Okay, let's turn this into a normal chiseled stone block. All right, let's put you down there. Normal block. Let's collect that. <gasps> Ooh, that's been added. Something even further to the left of my head? As a matter of fact, there is. There's a floating block chisel bit block to my head. What the heck? Now it looks like audit. It's, I'm it. I'm it. I'm it, everybody. I, I got tagged. This is what happens in the spiritual realm when somebody tags you. You have become it. Da 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 here, by hitting the letter G on the keyboard, will bring up the GL operations. So everything that I have collected from our first little collection here uh, to the second little collection to this other block and this other block. Every time that you left click to get another block in the mix has shown up like this. So if I were to... Grab this, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, five more times. Um, whoop, all right, that's right, you need to be wearing it to see the armor. If I click it five more times, it's going to show up in order of those clicks that I have just just made. So the first time we had, uh, we don't need that. We can just get rid of that. And we can just get rid of these uh, sequential things down here. Just get rid of these. We don't need those. Okay, now we're back to this. So... If I want to change this a little bit, there are different operations that I can that I can use. Some of those operations I have no idea what is going on. Not at all. So, I'm going to show you the ones that are happening. These items over here are the ones that uh if we select, we can manipulate those as long as we're in this performance for the selected items. So each item that we select on, that's what we're going to be manipulating. You notice that this one has a rotation on it, and this one has a rotation and a translation, or moving back and forth. And this one also has a uh, rotation and a translation. So what we can do is we can add another GL operation on top of that. We can add a rotation, we can add a translation, we can add a scale. For some reason, I do not understand rotation. But I do understand tr translation and scale. So let's go ahead and add in a translation and add in a scale. These go to defaults of uh, whatever is current. So 000 and 111. Changing those will move it quite a bit. And we want uh, data in pixels. Data and pixels, that's usually the easiest to understand. So let us move our initial block here. Let's zoom in a little bit and right click the drag, left click to rotate. Okay, yeah, zoom in a little bit more. So this is fairly small measurements, so 0 0.3. See that move there, 0 0.3? 
it moves just a little bit. So if we do something wacky like do 0 0.1, it moves quite a bit. Do something really wacky do like um, like uh, an 8, well, it practically takes it off the, com the head completely. Uh, let's do a 5, and now it's just like a helicopter on the back of our head. Um, let's do a 6, and let's just do something wacky. Let's, uh, but that is changing the x-axis, so back and forth. You can actually go in the negatives, too. So negative uh, 3, and that'll bring it forward. So a negative 5, that'll bring it forward. So that is the x-axis, or forward and backwards. I think the y-axis for this is the up and down. So 5, yeah, that's right. All right. And then negative 5, we'll bring it down. Cool. And the z-axis, I think that one goes left to right. Yes, yes it does, in fact. Negative 6, yeah, and I can bring it over there. And that's to do some small small manipulations for forward and backward. As a matter of fact, we can increase its size quite a bit. Let's do it uh, five. Whoa. Now it looks like a, just some type of spaceship that's uh, shooting a couple lasers. Um, and let's go with a uh, one. And as you can see, it actually has a depth, a, a depth of one. If we have a depth of zero, it actually becomes a flat plane. So, let's see here, one, that one does forward and backwards, this one does up and down, uh, yep, that one does up and down, this one does side to side, uh, yep, <laughs> now it looks like I have those, um, uh, Elton John glasses, Rocket Man, twirling at the sun, do 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 do, okay, so, that is the manipulation skit that you can do. Rotation. Really? More rain? Weather clear. Go away. Just, just, just stay away. Stay away for now. All right. So that is all the manipulations that you can do once you've collected the armor that you want to. Now let's do something a little bit weirder before we go into the. Uh, cool things that I figured out about this. Let's actually go back into the the command and let us grab... Did I? Oh yeah, yeah, I did, I did, okay. Okay, let us go into this GUI. What we can actually do is we can add in items that we've already built. So, say I want to add an item. Right now it's just blank air. It's got no rotation, it's got no uh, location, it's got nothing. But what we can do is we can even add in a pie. Say we want to add into a pie in there. Now we have a pie on our head. It doesn't use up the item. It just uses the display of the item. Notice I only had one pumpkin pie. Put it in there and it's just still a display. So let's add in an item. Let's do a translocation backwards and forward. We want to move this about five pixels. No, we want to move this negative five pixels. There we go. Now it looks like I've got a pie in my face. <laughs> and let's move this negative one. No, negative two. There we go. Now it's even further in my face. What have I become? I am it pie. I am it pie. All right. Um, that is all the functions that are inside the GUI command, I believe. Oh, there is also the after. The after affects everything. So it doesn't matter what you're clicking on. You add in an item, say, scale. You add in a scale of uh, 2. This is going to affect all items that you have. So uh, 5. Let's do something ridiculous like 5. All right. So what, what, what have we become now? Oh, good to God. Yeah, this, this, this is wacky. This is super wacky. Now it looks like I have a cannon attached to my pie face. I have now become it bot. It pie bot cannon. It pie bot cannon. And a quick amendment to this video. I finally figured out a little bit of how to do a type of rotation. If I want to add in, say, a second, second head to this, what all I have to do is hit G 
and we're going to add a second head into this character is we're going to add in the creeper head here. Uh, we're going to get rid of the scale. We don't want this scale. There we go. Perfect. Uh, we're going to want to add in a GU operation translation of Z, I think it is, 7? No. Okay. We want the X of 7. About right. 8. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. And now we want to add in a rotation. What I found out, let's see here is I'm going to put a y-axis of 1 on this guy and we're going to come over to this weird thing over here and we're going to put in 180. So we're going to do a 180 of this. So basically it's spinning on the y-axis which is up and down and then you do 180 degrees. Now I have a second head on my creeper person. Super effing creepy. But it works! I now have a second head. So now you can rotate it in any direction, any item, however you want. But say you want to rotate it in another direction uh, again. This is something else that I just figured out. You want to add in a second rotation and we're going to go on the x-axis and we're going to put a 1 into that and we are going to go to uh, let's say 45 degree angle. It takes the x-axis which is side to side and it rotates that on a 45 degree angle. Now that head is pointing oddly upward. It's looking always up in the sky either that or it's fallen asleep. Don't know why but that is how it works. So if you'll most likely just have a, a rotation, the most you'll have is three rotations, one for each axis. You just put a one in the x-axis and one, and one in the y-axis or z-axis. Uh, let's add another rotation to the z-axis, one, and let's make this another 10. No, that's too small to see. Let's make it 30 degrees. There we go. Now it is completely severed. It's just a block inside of my head, oddly lodged. So that is how the rotation works in this. So odd rotation. Uh, just figured out how to do that. No, that's not the button I want. Okay, G. Let's uh, let's let's take off that. Let's remove that from our yes. Okay, good. So, we have created a piece of armor. Go, go, go us. Go, we have created something horrendous. Okay, well, anyways, the other bits of armor are just about the same, except they have a few different options. Um, of course, there is the torso, the right arm, and the left arm. You have to do those separately so I place down this and I get a uh, area for my torso. One to one scale is just basically the size of my torso here so as you can see right here the torso is about the same size as that so is the head. The head is that so when I do a one to one scale it is exactly the same so if I do 2 to 1 scale, it scales it up. If I do 4 to 1 scale, it goes bigger. This is just so that you can put in different blocks or even more detail if you want. The scaling system is basically doing all the, the options that we looked at here before. It's using all those stuff on automation. So you don't have to mess with this at all. You just have to put it onto the template. You don't need to worry about all those left, rights, ups, and downs. Um, let's see here. Right arm, left arm. Let's see here. Left arm. Put that down. Now, it's going to default. Now that I've put down all three sections, the torso, the left arm, and the right arm, it's actually going to default to this 
block here for its collection. So if I click on right arm, it's going to still be over there. If I click on torso, it's actually still going to be there. So it is good to come over to this block and just left click instead of right click. Right click makes your, uh, makes your template. Left click puts down the collection area. So that is the shirt. Um, let's go ahead and put on a question mark for our oh I made I didn't make a question mark I was gonna make a Riddler thing but I've just pierced myself with many arrows uh, let's see here yeah I pierced myself with experience arrows the arrows of experience and let's uh block collection onto this all uh, right nope 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 that's not what I wanted okay I want block collection left click there we go now we have now we have bits of uh, uh, experience arrows in our chest oh what have I done now this one is uh, nope, that's not the one I want I want the leggings leggings have pelvis right leg and left leg when you put down the body templates for these guys they are going to look exactly the same as as the torso over here and as a matter of fact the pelvis works exactly the same way as the torso over here so if I were to put in uh, some more arrows say in the chest area right here it's gonna show up but let's put a couple in the pelvis area right here got a shot at the hip I, I can't I can't uh, walk anymore took an arrow to the hip so let us go into block collection mode and let us collect these and now now we have some arrows in our whoops well I've made a mistake uh, I've definitely made a mistake what was the mistake that I made uh, pelvis let's remove those items all right and let's go to five let's take off our pants and oh yes that's right our block collection area was right over here instead of over here so template creation left click back over here block creation left click and now it should be in the right place there we go now as you can see the the arrows let me back up a little bit here the arrows are in fact in our chest area as we displayed over there and over here they are in a similar area over here that's because the pelvis works the exact same way as the torso so just to let you know that's how that works now of course the legs and the arms of course work differently because they swing differently so let's go ahead and grab um, e. let's grab the legs and let us grab the shirt thingy and let us come over here we're gonna do the right arm for this guy put the template not what I wanted not what I wanted let's go over here get rid of that okay uh, take that off okay let's try that again template creation right arm go down here all right eh, let's go over here a little bit more room okay let us actually let's get a different type of bit I've been doing a bunch of experience heroes let's uh let's get uh something a little bit prettier on us so let us grab some draw region here and let us take a ring around our arm so oh not what I wanted but it'll work it'll work because I'll be able to show you something else that you're able to do notice that I'm cutting out a section of the body template and I'm putting in some gold block down there right on what I consider the skin level and we can do this so let us go to this block collection and left click okay so now we have what is going to look like a ring on our on our arm as you can see here actually you know what? let's get rid of this 
this helmet. This is ridiculous. Okay, so as you can see right here, I have now a ring on my arm, or an armband on my arm. But it shows up right on top of my skin. Um, this would be hidden by the second layer of your normal Minecraft skin. As a matter of fact, I can show you a good example of this with my normal head headgear here. Let's put this this on and let's go into the G GUI. You notice right here on my headpiece that the headband is actually behind my ear but above my second but above my first layer of skin. So the armor is in between those two layers of your player's, your character's skin. So if you put it there, it actually becomes a part of your skin. But what you can do, and we're going to do this for the ring that we have down here on our arm, as you can see here in the little display function, we're going to take that ring and we are going to change it up. We are going to add in an item we're going to add in, in a scale of, let's see here, we're going to add in a scale of 0 0.5. Okay. Uh, let's see here, and 0 0.5. 0 0.5. No. Huh. That is not exactly how I wanted that to happen. All right, let's actually put in a 0.5, and let's, uh, oh yeah, not Y, we want uh, 0 0.5, so that should be right, and we want, oh, I know what I'm doing, I'm doing the wrong, I'm doing the translocating, goodness me, I'm doing the wrong thing, okay, scale, I want to scale this by 0.5, there we go, and this one by 0.5, there we go. Mm, a little bit too much on the hand there. Let's scale it back a little bit. Let's do it a point two. And let's put this one at a point two as well. So it would be just enough. It's like half a pixel, half a pixel there. So now we actually have an armband that is half a pixel high rather than a full pixel high. And what I mean by that, uh, let's go over here. I can actually show you because if I were to put on another ring, uh, let's put it on right here. If I were to take my gold and put it here, seriously ring. If I were to take my gold and I were to put it on top of the layer here, on top of the skin, um, let's go over to our armor and let us put on the block collection for the left arm template creation. Uh, no, block collection, bonk. Okay, put that on. Now you can see that this this guy is a little bit thicker than the other armband. So it can have varying degrees of how it looks. The one on my right arm looks kind of uh, funky. No, the one on my right uh, looks nice. It looks very nice. It looks like an armband, a gold armband. The one on my left looks like some type of weight machine. Like I'm trying to lift gold bars. Like, argh, pump them, irons, yer. So how you apply it will will determine how it looks on your skin so I think that's a cool feature on that uh, so let us get rid back of our helmet here let's put our mm, well my helmet back up here and grab our leggings there we go and of course, as you can see here, when we move around, our arms swing side to side, and of course the legs would do the same, anything that you apply to the legs. Uh, the shoes, the shoes, just like the torso and legs, are the pattern looks exactly the same as the legs, and as a matter of fact, functions the same as the legs. So, you can put whatever you want, 
It does, of course, work however you want it to. So let's make uh, golden shoes. So we got golden shoes here. And what I tend to do sometimes is well, I tend to do block collection for the left foot. And actually what I can do is I can just switch it to right foot without changing the template. And I can just collect two left feet. And there we go. Now I have two left feet of the exact same thing. Now I have golden shoes. F5, there we go. That looks awesome. Well, kind of. We still need the head on. Now that looks awesome. Look at that. We are it. <laughs> what have we created? All right, let's go ahead and take our armor off and let's put this onto the shelf and let's go see some of the things that we can do with uh, the chisel bit armor. Now these are cool things that I've found out and I thought that they were, they were fantastic, fan diddly -astic. All right, so. Let's go ahead and eat. Oh, wait, we don't need the pumpkin pie. Let's put away the pumpkin pie. Put the pumpkin pie over here and the pick. We don't need the pick right now. All right, cool. Come on over here and show you some of the armor that I've already created. And, of course, this is the armor that you've already seen. This, uh, this, uh jungle warrior type armor that I've had. As a matter of fact, let's actually grab that back. No, nope, wait. Is this one too? Uh, yeah, it's enchanted too. So, a weird thing about this, the enchanting. You can enchant this armor, but uh, it's, it's display of those purple artifacts that you see when you enchant armor actually just display on the second skin. So just my nose and my ear are glowing and uh, yeah, yeah, that's for some reason the, that's the only part that that glows. Don't know why. But anyways, this is the first armor that you saw, the little jungle warrior. And the, this is the setup that I have for the leg bands, the tail, the stone claws, the shoulder pad, loincloth, uh, leg band, and face paint and, arm and headband. And those are all just adjustments to make sure that each layer is appearable on it. Also, there's this thing. I was uh, also wondering that if I could make an armor by not going into the skin layer. Because I enjoy doing the skin layer thing and uh, manipulating things in the uh, GL operations. But I did this completely by not messing with the template and uh, using the Twilight twilight Oak. And yes, of course, it's filled with that liquid experience, but I thought it was super, super cool at this time. So I used it pretty much in everything that I had. So let's go ahead and take a look on this guy. This guy, I have um, a little uh, kind of a, a wolf or whatever look to it. It's got a little snout and some big ears on it, as well as some uh, magical runes embedded into its armor. And each piece is super uh, detailed for me. Because I got these little straps that are supposed to hold on the wooden armor and little armholes for it, as well as armholes for the uh, the armor piece there, and straps for those, uh, straps for the uh, the pelvis area to hold up some of the armor on uh, above it and below it, as well as the leg pieces and little straps for the shoes as well. So if we put this guy on, do 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 do, and walk around with him on. As a matter of fact, you can see some of those straps right there on the bottom, uh, uh, below my head there. And uh, if we go in front of here, <laughs> kind of look like Samus with those those eyes just barely peering over. Now in F5 mode, you really don't see that snout very well, but 
the uh, the armor is kind of there for just everybody else on the server to see and it looks super awesome I think it looks super super cool so I got this thick armor here and you can see uh, I guess not you can't see some of the operations of the uh, armholes or whatever inside there all right so that is the wooden armor that I created uh, for the Twilight Forest area. Put those all back on there. And that's the, uh, the normal, the normal type of uh, armor that I was coming up. One that is minimalist and one that is completely go get them. It's uh, completely thick armor. So let's take a look at some other cool ideas that, of armor that I had over here. This uh, requires something else. I created a skeleton armor that works kind of on the skin layer. But, and I had uh, this guy over here that I call, uh, what did I call him? Mr. Spoopy. I called him Mr. Spoopy. I put him there so that I could use the reference. It doesn't look exactly like him, but it works super cool. So, we're going to put this armor on. Do 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 do, and put on the shoes too. All right, and what do we look like? Oh, we haven't changed at all. What what what's going on here? Why why don't I see any of my armor? Well, it can be a cool thing if you want to um, if you want to hide your armor completely, but 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 this is the super cool thing invisibility potion this doesn't work for uh, against mobs but it does work against people oh check this out ready are, are, are you ready for this this is super cool oh I am a skeleton oh that is so cool hey 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 you were complaining that you know I wasn't wearing anything appropriate before now I don't have any flesh on how about that I got no flesh on my bones Rawr! so this is super cool you can make pretty much any type of model that you want for your character just by drinking an invisibility potion I think it's super cool super cool that you can manipulate your own model however you want so and not only that, the, the name tag is gone for, for everybody, too. So they just see a monster with some little bubblies around them, too. Uh, let's put the armor back up here and put the shoes. Okay. So, yeah, that is the cool skeleton armor that I have, as well as another thing for the invisibility potion. You don't have to be a skeleton. As a matter of fact, it can be displayed on your skin before you take the invisibility potion, like this guy here. So we're going to put on the helmet, the chest, the legs, and the shoes, and we are going to be displayed as a water elemental. Check this out. Now I'm completely water, and I got little golden bands that bind me to this world. I'm just a weird uh, elemental. Ah! So I think this is super cool. I'm not, my skin isn't seen underneath of it. Oh, this is super cool. But there was a problem with this that I found out. Apparently, when you're collecting a block for, for say, like the head, if you want to do a block collection on this, you actually can't. It's looking through the water right now. It's, I'm looking at the block below it. I'm not collecting the water head. You actually can't collect water. It doesn't see it. It needs to have a solid object. So, um, not even the, uh, what is this? Uh, I used um, uh, molten, molten cobalt. Cobalt. I used molten cobalt for the eyes on my helmet, but I needed a solid block in order to click on what I wanted to collect, which is kind of irritating. But what I 
could have done. What I could have done is I could have done the GUI thingy and just uh, collected. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that that is a weird sight. Me holding my own head. That is that is creepy. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, that is that is super creepy. Okay, what I could also do um, is I could collect this blocks uh, somehow in uh, chisel bit form and be able to just put it in the GUI, put in another add item, and move it to the location that I want to. So I could do it there, but uh, what I did up in instead is I ended up uh, clicking on some uh, solid objects that I put behind the eyes there. Since the liquid cobalt acts as my eyes here, I just decided to put something behind my eyes in order to collect that that object. So it could, in fact, um, click on that in order to collect it. And I did the same with the. Uh, I have a little bit of a uh, a heart here. Oop, not that. I have a little bit of a heart right there in my chest. Uh, hard to see on my person, but there you go. There you go. You can see it right there. And, uh, yeah, so I have a little bit of heart there. I add these, b added these bands on because of it. And I also added on some liquid experience onto uh, uh, the legs in order to show up above the shoes, which are the gold bands for my feet. So that was, and I didn't need this pelvis area, so I didn't, didn't collect that area. Uh, it, the pelvis area is pretty much covered up by the armor area. So that is the liquid thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, I still have uh, water, water on me. I am going to do this. I am going to come over here and I am going to do the classic, classic spoopy thing. All right, put on this. Okay. And I am going to grab my head and I am going to put it in my hand. Oh. Oh, oh uh, nope, nope, nope. There we go. There we go. That's that's what you want to see running towards you. You want to see a skeleton beating you up with its own skull. That is super cool. And then decides to put on his helmet after uh, his head after beating you up. That that is super cool. Oh, that is super cool. Okay. Put back the armor, and we are going to uh, drink some milk here. Do, 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 and shoes. All right, good. And let's grab an invisibility potion and two buckets of milk, just in case. All right. No, one for now. Put away the bucket. Do, 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 And one invisibility potion. Okay. So... That is what you could do with an invisibility potion. Just some ideas for you. Uh, what I have over here is some more minimalist ideas. Uh, the idea in the tutorial was going to be uh, what you could do with... Um, uh, well, yeah. Uh, is what you could do with expanding on what blocks you create beyond just the template. So... Beyond just the template, the uh, the minimalist idea that I have here, helmet and armor and legs and shoes. There we go. And so what we have here is a bunch of fairy rods that are um, just floating around, kind of like blaze rods, but they, these are fairy rods. We got some little, uh, I don't know, enchanted bracelets as well as a... Uh, some magical glyphs here um yes i put some apparently liquid chisel liquid chisel bit works as a solid so i kind of put that behind here because the lava could not be collected same as the water back there but uh, i was able to get those things hidden nicely inside underneath my character skin uh what we have here now is uh a well i got myself some a a, a fairy some fairy wings that are see-through with 
colored glass as well as some liquid items such as liquid experience and some lava. I also put some directly in my eyes there as you can see uh, a little bit closer there. Yeah, just uh, shiny little eyes and some uh, weird uh, glyph, glyph boots, I guess. I don't know. It looks... Oh, oh, I also added more definitions to my to my ear here. So now they're not just flat planes. As a matter of fact, they are full objects. I tried to do as much as I could with my nose and my mouth, but it didn't look quite right. Uh, so I just uh, added in the nose, and it gave a little bit more definition onto it, which looks kind of nice. So that's what I did with that, with the minimalist extra blocks that you can collect for your template ideas. Uh, let's put this on here and the helmet, right? There we go. Now we ain't taking off all our armor. And this is the extra blocks uh, full thick armor design. Kind of a reptar idea with this uh, longer tail here and this uh extra head cuz this head this head isn't one full block the the snout here here is also an extra block as well as this back of the head is also an extra block so we have a big hero 6 uh type lizard here and we are now a godzilla there we go rar rar burn down buildings and stuff and stuff and things and I got myself a little uh, lava glowing eyes meow, 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 meow. so cool little uh, costume thingy here for the extra blocks alrighty and let's see here um, I did come up with another idea but I didn't quite uh, implement it what I could possibly do is um, what you you could have uh two layers of like torso and pelvis you take off your armor and it shows uh say you're say you have a robot design and your upper armor let's see here your upper armor here is the is the outer shell of the robot and then your lower pelvis area could be the robot innards or something like that so you take off your your upper armor and it shows your robot innards or something like that so just just small ideas or you take off your pants area and your shoes show your robot innards because they work on the same layer type deals something like that that's 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 all i got um but this was mm, this is just some examples of what you can do with the uh with the one by four scale design you can put in so much detail with chisel bits these these blocks it takes a while to create not only create but also collect as well so let's uh put on this armor and i'm going to show you all of this uh but this guy really seriously rain uh, what this does, this helmet is like, uh, let's see here, 8, 16, uh, 20, 20, it's like 50 different pieces here. Uh, because the design, let's see here, design for the helmet is each one of those block items. So we have, let's see here. 32 different items just to create this this helmet just to create this one helmet there's 32 blocks making up this this thing here and this was accomplished by going into let's see here let's see here template creation so this guy one by four so this template was in that spot right there so you see that right there and a block collection this had to be collected as you can see the black block here that I click I had to click on each one of these panels and then these corner pieces right here which is basically one pixel and then these front face things which is one block each four quadrants it is 
it is a lot but you can put in a lot of detail to these things and let's see here but some other examples are you can put on like some bunny slippers or something like that and put a bunch of details into the shoes you can uh oh the armbands the armor you can uh put in tattoos uh let's see if we can see this on there yeah yeah you see that on my arm it says i heart mom <laughs> i thought that was kind of cool let's see if we can see it better in the in gui yeah we can it's moving along with the arm there so you can put a tattoo onto your person using the skin layer all you have to do is just put it right on right in that skin layer that i was talking about before and you and of course you can redo your model completely here i have a a werewolf foot doesn't look quite right right now but we're just looking at that leg right there but we drink the potion and the leg will will work just like your normal leg so you can uh, change your model up completely and go insane with the types of detail into like your your actual model there so I got yeah so I got uh, different types of uh, super detailed there and it's my little tattoo floats there hope oh, that's not the right one all right and put back in the bucket all right so awesome those are the ideas that I had for the different types of things you can do with chisel bit armor um, I haven't seen a tutorial for chisel bit armor which is why I created this it irritated the heck out of me so oh that's right I have another set right over here uh, so I hope this was helpful on how to use chisel bit armor um, I hope that uh, you've uh, learned something from this not only that I hope you uh, were able to get some uh, get inspired get some ideas of what to do for your character uh, for your armor whatever you want to create out of this so thank you everybody for watching make sure you leave a like comment subscribe all those fun little buttons there on the YouTube's I will be getting back to Minecraft Let's Plays once Gophercraft resets for 1.13, the aquatic update, and I will be doing a bunch of those vanilla uh, Let's Plays. Not sure about modded, but there's this tutorial at least. Also, I'll be getting back into the Thief game. There's just been a lot of other stuff happening in my life. Uh, work-based, not bad stuff, but just work-based. So, thank you everybody for watching. This is the Puka. Later.